As someone whose favorite game of all time is Excite Truck on the Nintendo Wii, and someone that used to race dirt bikes, I can confidently say Monster Energy Supercross 3 is a top 5 racing game on the Nintendo Switch. And I'm going to tell you why. Here we go! Monster Energy Supercross 3 is the third Monster Energy Supercross game on Nintendo's hybrid system. While I skipped number 2, I did put in over 20 hours in the original, and after 45 hours on Supercross 3, it easily takes the original lunch. Monster Energy Supercross 3 offers three different series to compete in, with 15 stadium courses and 10 outdoor courses. You start off by racing in the 250, and eventually work your way up to the 450. The game is hard. Make one bad turn or crash, and you most likely will not be winning the race. And that's on easy mode. With that said, this game offers three key features to make the challenge rewarding, which really reduces the frustration. First, similar to other modern racers, there's a rewind mechanic. Make a bad turn? Rewind. Crash into another rider? Rewind. Case that final jump? Rewind. Also, even in championship mode, the game allows you to restart any race from the beginning. And the races restart without any loading time. This is truly how racing games should be made. It is due to this challenge that you'll literally be pumping your fist when you win a race because you earned it. It's that sense of accomplishment that keeps me coming back to the game. As for the technical side of things, the game claims to run at 60 frames per second, and I haven't noticed any dips in that. The graphics are also very solid for a Switch game. It would have been really cool if they could have incorporated tracks that degrade over the course of the race like they did in other consoles. The game does have other features including online play and a track creator, but I didn't try either of those. The biggest negative is the lack of variety. There are really only 15 stadium tracks and they are pretty similar. I wish they could have added some fantasy tracks to race on and maybe a separate mode. Anyone remember the game Freak Style? I was able to get this game for $1.50 on the Nintendo eShop after using my GameStop Pro membership trick. Check out my channel for that video. And I think it's a top 5 racing game on the Nintendo Switch. Which is sadly a genre that the Switch is lacking. Come on Nintendo. Bring back Excite Bike. If you've not seen my other reviews, instead of rating, a game, rating games on a 10 point scale, I rate them based on how much I pay for a game and be happy with my purchase. For Monster Energy Supercross 3, I would pay $30. If you liked this video, it would mean the world if you took a second to like the video and subscribe. Also, check out my review for Hot Shot Racing on the Nintendo Switch. You're a star. The best days are ahead of you. God bless.